Barrage skills can be quite powerful, but they're also a little bit confusing. So hopefully today's video will clear up how Barrage skills work, what supports change their behavior, and what legendary items you should look out for if you're planning to play a Barrage build. Before I get started though, I do want to take a moment to thank this video's patron, Dos the Flame. If you want to support the channel and become a video patron, then do check the Patreon link down below. More about that at the end, and again, a special thanks to Dos the Flame for supporting the channel and becoming a patron of this video. Right now, there are three barrage skills in Torchlight Infinite. Blizzard, a barrage spell that causes damage to rain down on an area. This can be easily used as a damaging main skill, or it can be used as a utility skill to support another build. One of Blizzard's effects is it reduces enemy cold and lightning resistance. So if you're playing any cold or lightning build, you could always throw Blizzard onto cast while damage taken, cast when channeling, or cast on crit to add a little bit more damage. And if you want to cover the entire screen in an Eternal Winter, I suggest getting more area of effect. Overall, Blizzard is the most powerful and well-rounded barrage skill currently in the game. It can be used to clear or deal high single target damage. The next barrage skill is an attack that is exclusive to ranged weapons. That is, Marked Rain of Arrows. You fire a single shot that when it impacts a marked enemy, triggers a barrage. This barrage rains arrows down from the sky around the target, and these arrows explode dealing overlapping damage. Additional projectiles will only apply to the secondary projectiles that rain down, not the initial round. Which means that it can be a little bit awkward to clear with, as you kind of want to hit something in the center of a pack, not the front. You'll need pierce here, or something similar. But at the same time, the skill excels at bossing. Now personally, I did play around with this a bit, and I had some mixed experiences when adding AoE. In some cases, it seemed to reduce my damage, so do keep that in mind if your damage seems weird when using Marked Rain of Arrows. It could be because of the AoE. Yes, the explosions from the arrows are bigger, but it also seems to spread from over a larger area, which, depending on the boss's movement and hitbox, could cause it to miss. And then we have Lethal Barrage, a gun-exclusive skill, where you channel to build up stacks, and then release to trigger a barrage that has waves equal to the number of channeled stacks. In other words, getting channeled energy and max channeling stacks can be very important for this build. Additional waves also add more projectiles. I've heard this skill is pretty good on mobile, but on PC, the channel release ends up feeling really awkward. And I also found that the double delay of channeling up and releasing means it's extra important to lower your barrage wave interval to do your damage as immediately as possible. Otherwise, your enemies may end up moving and the skill will ultimately miss. So how might you go about that? Well, you could use a barrage support, the first of which is Carpet Bombing, which gives barrage skills plus one wave, think of that as more damage, and also minus 25% wave interval. So you can think of that as the skill dealing its full damage 25% faster. This is very good because barrages are stationary, so if the enemy moves, the faster you get the damage out, the better. The second barrage specific support is Strategic Strike, which causes barrage skills to deal more damage and also causes them to gain AoE per wave. This is very important if you're going to use either Blizzard or Lethal Barrage to clear, but I had mixed experiences when using it with Marked Rain of Arrows. But of course, skills and supports don't alone make a build in Torchlight Infinite. You also need items. And are there any items that might help a barrage skill? Well, four come to mind, two of which are important for all barrage skills, and two of which could be used for some barrage skills. The first of which is When Winter Comes. This gives plus one wave to your barrage skills, remember, plus one wave is more damage, and when barrage skills hit an enemy, they lower resistances and armor. You can get minus 40% elemental resistance and minus 100% armor which means this is very good for barrage skills that deal physical or elemental damage, but won't be very good for barrage skills that deal erosion damage. Luckily, there isn't really support for erosion barrages anyway, so that's not too much of an issue. The other important legendary item is the Stellar Vestment of Eminence. This is because it has a huge multiplier to lower wave interval. Remember, the lower the wave interval, the faster the skill deals its total damage. Yes, this does come with a small damage penalty, but you can always corrode the mod to remove that, and it's more than made up for by the multiplicative 12-15% to 15 damage per barrage wave. If you use this, the more waves the better, so it's especially good for skills like Lethal Barrage that tend to have a lot of waves. 
Finally, the two more specific items are Pendulum of Death and Imperial General. Pendulum of Death is a bow which does seem to be made for marked rain of arrows, and Imperial General is a cannon that seems to be made for lethal barrage. It should be noted that unfortunately, the buff from Imperial General that gives you additional waves is consumed whenever you use the skill, so if you're spamming the skill frequently, you won't really have too much value from it, but if you're only letting off one barrage every few seconds, it could be very good. While ultimately I think Pendulum of Death and Imperial General are conceptually interesting, I don't know if they're necessarily strong enough to build around. That's something I might have to test in the future. But what I can say is, if you're playing any of these barrage skills, you should probably be using When Winter Comes along with Stellar Vestments of Eminence, as that will be a massive damage gain, you'll have way more waves, and your waves will be much more immediate, so bosses will melt in front of you. Overall, I've found barrage skills to be very interesting, but I haven't used them too much in my build so far. At some point, the idea of making a marked Reign of Arrows boss killer does sound pretty interesting, and I've definitely played around with Blizzard enough to know that it's super strong and I'm going to be using it in the future. In fact, I'd even call Blizzard an underrated skill that right now people aren't valuing as much as they should. But what about you? Is this your first time hearing about barrage skills in Torchlight Infinite, or have you played them before? And if so, have you found any way to make lethal barrage work on PC? Let me know some of those thoughts down in the comments below. Again, a special thanks to Dos the Flame for being this video's patron and continuing to support the channel. If you want to support the channel, you can do so for as low as $1 a month, either here on YouTube or through Patreon, links below. On the other hand, if you want to support completely for free, all you have to do is go down in the description, hit the like button, and while you're down there, get subscribed for more content. Maybe hop into the Discord to join the conversation. If you do, be sure to react and give yourself a community role. Skill mechanics is one of the most interesting aspects of Torchlight Infinite. So if there's any other skills that you're wondering, how does that work exactly? Ask below, and who knows, I might have an answer for you, or it might even be the topic of a future video. But that'll be all for now.